So you're in college, maybe you're just starting, maybe you're a few years in, or maybe you've even just recently graduated. How can you actually afford to invest in stocks as a college student with a high cost of tuition, textbooks, and more? Today I'm going over how you, as an everyday college student, can easily get started investing in real companies to start growing your money. Today's video is brought to you by Morning Brew, a free daily stock market newsletter that's informative, digestible, and fun. The five minute newsletter is perfect for anyone looking to increase their knowledge on the stock market. Get access to the free daily newsletter today at everydayinvesting.com brew. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eric of everydayinvesting.com. And on this channel, I'm all about helping the everyday investor like you and I get started saving and investing. So let's get into it. As a college student or even a recent graduate, is it too early to start thinking about investing in the stock market? The truth is, if you're a college student or even a recent graduate, you actually can't afford not to get started investing in the stock market as it's one of the greatest ways to build true wealth over time. The thing is, when you invest in the stock market, the value of your investments will grow as the stocks you invest in grow. But likewise, alternatively, the value of your money can also decrease as the stock market fluctuates naturally. This is why investing is always best for the long term guys, because in the short term, the stock market can fluctuate up or down. But over the long term, as in decades and decades, based on historical data, the stock market has a history of increasing in value. And I get it. It may seem as a college student with tuition, the cost of tuition, books, textbooks, student loans, and more, it may seem impossible to even think about investing right now. Quite simply guys, the truth is that you actually don't need as much money as you think to get started investing in real companies. You no longer need hundreds or thousands of dollars to get started investing like you needed to have in the past. Today there are beginner friendly investing apps that let you get started investing in the stock market with as little as $5. Today we're going to focus on some more innovative and modern apps that are a lot more user friendly and quite simply put, they're just a lot simpler to get started with. To be more specific, we're going to go over two types of investing apps for college students. The first type we're going to cover are stock market investing apps. These provide a much more passive approach to investing. The second type we're going to cover are stock market trading apps. These require a much more active approach to investing. The main differences between stock market investing apps and stock market trading apps are the following. You can think of investing apps as slow and steady, but reliable. Investing apps are more geared towards longer term investing and they often offer a much more passive approach to investing without having to really think about it. Oftentimes, investing apps offer a much more diversified portfolio and because of that, they offer less risk in their investments. You can really sum up investing apps as stable but steady growth. Next up is stock market trading apps. Now, stock market trading apps, unlike investing apps, they're a little different in that they require a lot more active involvement on your part because you're actually going in there and actively trading stocks, you're actively picking individual stocks. And because of this, it does have potentially more upside, but also equally potentially more downside. Because there is often less diversification in a stock market trading app, you actually get more potential reward, but also more potential risk. So I like to think of stock market trading apps as high risk, high reward. Now with both investing apps and stock trading apps, you will usually have access to a selection of individual stocks and ETFs. Individual stocks, guys, are basically you buying shares of individual companies. So you're actually buying a piece of Amazon, a piece of Google, a piece of Walmart, a piece of Starbucks. Those are individual stocks. ETFs, on the other hand, are exchange traded funds, and they're basically a group or a theme of related stocks bundled into one diversified investment. So a pro tip for you, if you're just getting started investing, you may want to consider investing in ETFs over individual stocks because of their built in diversification. They often offer a lot less risk than individual stocks. So with that in mind, we're now going to briefly go over the four best stock market investing apps and the two best stock market trading apps for college students. If after the video, you'd like to learn more about any one of these apps more in depth, I do have individual reviews on each one of them that goes a lot more in depth. I'll be sure to link those video reviews down below in the description box as well. So the first stock market investing app I want to go over guys is the Acorns app. If you haven't heard of the Acorns app, I personally feel that Acorns is probably the most user friendly investing app for college students. Not only does Acorns let you get started investing with as little as $5, but Acorns actually has several automation tools built into the app that really help you encourage passive and consistent investing. Now, 
Acorns is limited in their investment options, but because of this simplicity, it actually makes it one of the best options for college students and new investors. They let you choose from five pre-built diversified portfolios made up of hundreds of stocks. You choose from one of those based on your investment objectives, and pretty much you just invest your money, and Acorns takes care of all the rest. Now, if you're wondering the cost on Acorns, they, it is $1 per month user fee, however, for college students and why I think it's a great option, they actually waive the fee for college students for up to four years for as long as you're a college student, there will be no monthly fee. On to the next option guys, we now have the Public Investing App. Public is an investing app that pretty much makes investing accessible to any college student or new investor. Because much like Acorns with Public, you can actually get started investing in stocks with as little as $5. Again guys, Public though, unlike Acorns, Public allows you to invest in thousands of individual stocks and ETFs. So with Public, you have a lot more access to many more investment options than you do on Acorns. So there are more options, but the interface is very clean on Public's app, just like Acorns. That's why I have it coming in at number two right behind Acorns, but they're pretty much neck and neck. Public's not far behind. Now a couple other features on the Public app, guys, is that Public actually lets you invest in slices of individual shocks, stocks, also known as fractional shares. So that's a really cool feature available on Public. Basically what that means, guys, is that you can invest in a piece, in a fraction of a major stock. So for example, let's say you want to invest in a share of Amazon. A share of Amazon, guys, currently costs probably over $1,800 at the time of filming this video. That's a lot of money to afford one share of Amazon. But on public, you can invest $5 into Amazon. So you could own a fraction of Amazon, just to give you an example. So that's a great advantage of the public app, especially if you want to invest in individual stocks. And in terms of cost, public is completely free. There are no commissions to trade any stocks, and there are also no monthly user fees, account maintenance fees, or account minimums. Next up, guys, the third stock market investing app I want to cover is called the M1 Finance app. I like to think of M1 Finance as sort of a hybrid between Acorns and Public because M1 Finance gives you access to investing in thousands of individual stocks and ETFs like you can on Public, and they also let you invest in fractional shares of stocks. Now, the only downside with M1 Finance, guys, is that it is a $100 minimum requirement to open an account and get started investing. Now, in terms of cost, M1 Finance is completely free to use. There are no monthly user fees, no account maintenance fees as well. Now, one unique feature with M1 Finance, guys, is that they actually allow you to build unique, what they call pies, multiple pies inside your M1 Finance account. And this is why I think M1 Finance is a really cool option to consider because you can have multiple investment portfolios inside your single M1 Finance account. That means you could maybe have a more diversified, less risky portfolio, as well as a more aggressive portfolio inside your same single M1 Finance account and track them all from a single dashboard on your phone. Now the final investing app I wanna go over for college students is the Stash Investing app. Now the Stash Invest app is another popular investing app, but it does come in fourth place for me for college students because they only give you access to 250 individual stocks and ETFs at the time of filming this video, so you don't have access to as many as M1 Finance or the Public app. And on the other hand, while you do have more investing options than you do on Acorns, which only has five diversified portfolios, on Stash, you do have a $1 monthly user fee that's not waived for college students like it is on the Acorns app. So that's something to keep in mind. With that in mind though, Stash is a very user-friendly app as well. They do have a lot of easy to understand terminology for new investors, and they do give you access to investing in fractional shares of stocks, just like you can on Public and M1 Finance. Albeit, the stocks that you can invest in fractional shares are limited. But that's our fourth investing option for college students. So now guys, I wanna briefly go over the two stock market trading apps for college students that you may wanna consider. So the first stock market trading app I wanna go over, guys, is the Webull app. Now, Webull is a great stock market trading app for college students or new investors, and for one simple reason. There are no commissions to trade, it's completely free, there are no monthly user fees, no account maintenance fees, no minimum to open up an account, and no minimum account balance requirements. Webull does give you access to trading and investing in thousands of individual stocks and ETFs, just like you can on some of those other investing apps that we mentioned. But the real reason why Webull is a winner for college students for, who are interested in trading stocks is because of the extensive built-in data, research, and charts built into the app for each and every stock. And not only that, but they also offer a unique feature 
of paper trading. So what that means is Webull allows you to practice trading with paper money, with fake money, before you actually have to invest your real money and trade real stocks. That's definitely a great advantage if you're a college student who is interested in trading stocks. Now the second runner up stock market trading app to Webull in my opinion guys for college students is the Robinhood app. Now Robinhood is a very popular stock market trading app and you probably may have even heard of it. But for me Robinhood does still come in number two behind Webull as a stock market trading app for college students. The reason is because Robinhood does still give you access to thousands of individual stocks and ETFs. They do still have commission free trading. There are no fees to use Robinhood, no monthly user fees or account maintenance fees. And Robinhood does have also a clean user friendly interface. But the reason I give Webull the advantage over Robinhood guys for stock market trading is because Webull gives you much more extensive data, research and charts to help you trade your stocks inside the app. And Webull also gives you access to that paper trading feature to practice trading virtual money, which again, Robinhood doesn't. Robinhood will just have you dive right in with your real money, bringing on more risk potentially up front. At the end of the day, the most important piece of advice I can give you as a college student or a recent graduate is to realize the amount of time you have on your side and to take advantage of it. The greatest indicator of building wealth is going to be time and compound interest. Essentially, compound interest means that not only does your initial investment earn interest, but you begin to earn interest on the interest. And it's this powerful snowball effect, guys, that really allows you to create and build true wealth over time. There's never been a greater time in history where investing in the stock market is more accessible to the everyday college student or to the everyday young investor than there is right now. Now, if you're still unsure which is the right investing platform for you, no worries. I do have more full individual in-depth reviews on every single one of these apps I went over in today's video. They go a lot more in depth. So if you'd like to learn more about any one of those apps I mentioned today, I'll be sure to link their individual reviews down below in the description box. And hey, if you're new to the stock market, definitely feel free to grab the free daily newsletter from today's video sponsor, Morning Brew, for more quick and easy to read stock market news and tips at everydayinvesting.com brew. Again, guys, if you have any questions on investing as a college student, feel free to leave your questions down below in the comments. I'm always happy to answer those for you. And of course, thank you for being a part of the Everyday Investing community. As always, I'll catch you in the next one.